Welcome to this video where we are going to install the free open source artificial intelligence stable diffusion on a Windows PC in just one step. Yes, one step. Photography is a great hobby. You can pack your gear and go to town and well, maybe you see a nice girl with purple hair and then you ask would you mind if I take your picture? And she says, yes, that's okay. And she even poses a bit for you and you take 12 or 20 pictures and at home you select uh, the nice one and maybe Photoshop a bit and you end up with something like this. That's great fun. Or you enter a shop and you see a girl and you ask, would you mind if I take your picture? Can you look in this mirror? And then you end up with a nice black and white picture like this. Or maybe you like Photoshop and you can spend an hour on creating something like this. Yeah, it's a great hobby. And there is another great hobby, which is artificial intelligence. What I told so far is entirely not true. I did not spend an hour on this. It took only five seconds to generate this. And this girl that looks in the mirror, she does not exist. This picture took five seconds to make. I did not even have to go to town. And it's just incredible what this AI can do. I mean, look at the detail here in the hairs of this girl. Every individual hair just shows. And also the girl with the purple hair. Look at the incredible detail here on her skin. It is not totally smooth. It is real skin and the hair, every individual hair just shows. Suppose you are on the lookout for a new kitchen. Uh, just uh, generate 100 of them and probably you will uh, get some nice inspiration on what you think your new kitchen should look like. Also, if you are a photographer and you like Photoshop, and this is a image out of the window of my apartment. Uh, well, and it can be enhanced in Photoshop, but it can also be enhanced with artificial intelligence. Uh, when we would zoom in a bit, we see that the photo might look sharp and completely zoomed out, but now we start to see some, yeah, some fuzzy areas here in the trees and if we zoom in a bit more we see all kinds of JPEG artifacts and this is not a sharp picture at all. But now look what AI can do. This is after running it through AI and all the JPEG artifacts, look here at the top of the trees, that is a major major improvement. And now the entire image looks like this. It is a lot sharper. Now suppose I tell the AI make this into a painting of Van Gogh. Then this comes out. It's just incredible what this AI can do. If I tell it to make me a picture uh, in the style of Rembrandt, then this comes out. Look at the lighting. That is just incredible. Uh, well, and so on and so on. If you are into this, uh, you can get millions of images like this, all in five seconds. If you like to, um, yeah, to have a new shopping mall in a futuristic town, uh, no problem at all. Generate it in a couple of seconds. And also interior design, no problem at all. And all of this can be done with a program called Stable Diffusion, which is open source since um, 2022. Let's install this in one step. What you need is Windows 10 or 11, and you also need an NVIDIA graphics card with at least four gigabytes of memory. So a 2000 series or higher is okay. It can be installed on Apple and also on AMD graphics cards and also on Linux. That is outside the scope of this video. Uh, just Google some and you will find solutions. 
Now you could go to the official automatic GitHub where the open source is hosted. The automatic 11.11 place on GitHub tells you exactly what you need to do to install it. Uh, and that is a couple of steps and they even forgot a uh, step five uh, to uh, also include a model. So that is quite a lot of work. You, you have to do at least five things and that will take a lot of mouse clicks and some figuring out. It is not needed anymore because there is a possibility to do it all in one step. And that is thanks to a person uh, who has the alias Empire Media Science, it's a person or maybe a group of people, they created an easy installer and launcher. And just click on this link over here that brings you to uh, this page where you can download this auto installer. Well, let's just do that. I downloaded it and it is now here in my download folder. Before I run it, I decided for myself to first create an AI uh, folder on my PC, just on my C drive, because the web UI is not a program that installs in program files. You can place it everywhere you like. Um, so I made this AI folder and then if you start the uh, program, it asks where do you want to install the web UI? Well, it gives you a default in your personal uh, folder, uh, but I changed this into my new uh, AI folder. That's up to you. It is not a necessary step, but I just like it this way. And then, uh, well, just click install. What we have now is just the auto installer. It's now finished uh, on my computer. And now there is this uh, link over here, uh, which I have to click and then it starts to install web UI. That goes quite fast. It installs uh, Python, it installs Git and it uh, clones the web UI. And then it says, Wait a moment, you don't have an AI model yet. Would you like to download one? Well, yeah, I would like that. So click yes, and then it starts to download an AI model that is a two and a half gigabyte file. So that can take a minute. And then uh, when that is done, it comes up with this window, uh, which is the actual launcher. What I did is to check the auto update uh, of the program and the uh, extensions that you may have in future and also enable Xformers which seems to speed up with, with most graphics cards and then launch the program. And then it first at the first run it has to uh, install a whole lot of other stuff but it goes all fully automatic. You don't have to do anything. And finally, when it's done, it opens your web browser and there is the web UI interface. Right, before we generate our first image, let's have a look what uh, the installer did. Uh, it gave me the stable diffusion web UI folder with all the contents inside. And also inside that folder there is a models folder, a stable diffusion and inside I have this two gigabyte AI generator model and that's what we need, at least one model. There are several models uh, to be downloaded from the internet, that is for a future video. So let's now start uh, the program again, I closed it and I want to see uh, how quickly it runs now when I freshly start it. All right, we are live now. Let me click this and then see what happens. Well, that was quick because it now has already installed everything. It runs quite fast. It remembered the text that I said earlier. So I can now launch the web UI. And then, uh, yeah, it starts up. Uh, that takes maybe a couple of seconds. That depends on the speed of your computer also. Uh, but after a while, it will open up my browser. And here I have the interface. 
what I can do now is pin this program to the taskbar. Why not? Let me right click it, pin to taskbar, then I always have it available there. I can quickly start it in future. Okay, let's generate our first image. Here at the very top it says Stable Diffusion Checkpoint. Checkpoint is another name for model. I should have one because we had that man model downloaded. Yes, there it is. That model is the one that I'm going to use. Let's generate, why not, a YouTube is full of it, a photo, wait a minute, a photo of a kitten. Why not? And let's see what it is with all the, the default settings. Let's just generate one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, there it goes. And in a, a couple of seconds, I have a photo of a kitten. Let me enlarge it a bit. Well, isn't that a cute kitty? Uh, <laughs> this kitten does not exist. It is not uh, uh, drawn from Google Photos uh, or what have you. It is generated by this program, Stable Diffusion. Let's do something else. Uh, let's, let's do a pencil drawing uh, of cubes by M.C. Escher. I bet you know M.C. Escher. Uh, and if you don't, this is the style that he makes his pictures. Uh, well, that looks uh, really like a drawing of M.C. Escher, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> it is just incredible what this AI can do, and all in a couple of seconds. Well, this was it. This was the install video. Uh, let's have more fun in a future video. Uh, let's have a look uh, a, a bit at this user interface and what everything does. Maybe see you back there. In the meantime, have fun.